This is how to install any operating system on your iPad, iPhone, or Vision Pro. Recently, Apple has loosened their restriction on emulators on the App Store. Well, a couple days ago, the first PC emulator went live on the App Store that allows you to emulate operating systems directly from your iPad, iPhone, or Vision Pro. Today, we're gonna be going through what exactly it takes to set up UTM SE and the practical use cases for it. I'm gonna be using a M4 iPad Pro for this, so your performance may vary. This is also gonna be a longer video, so I will provide timestamps down below for you to jump around as needed. First, you need to download UTM-SE off the App Store. Then you're going to open it up. To get started with setting up an operating system, you need to first go to the UTM gallery. This will take us to their website where we can see a selection of operating systems we can choose from. Naturally, I went for the Windows 11 install. Some operating systems in UTM's gallery have pre-built UTM files that you can directly import, so there's no need for configuration. Others like Windows 11 require you to set it up manually. First and foremost, before you start setting up an operating system, you need to check to see what the minimum system requirements are for that OS. Windows 11 needs four gigabytes of memory, 64 gigabytes of storage, and at least two cores. Windows also does a check for a trusted platform module 2.0, and also UTM needs to have a force multi-core on. But sadly, I was still unsuccessful. You see, I went through the entire installation setup. I even got to the end of it, and when it restarted, somehow I was in a getting ready state for over three hours. And from the OSs that I've tested so far, Windows 11, Kali Linux, and Ubuntu 22 have not worked for me, even after I did extensive research. I am filming this only a couple days after it's been released on the App Store, so more than likely down the road, these are going to be fixed. Moving past the failures, I did have success with Windows XP. To install XP, you download the UTM directly from the gallery. The only thing missing is the ISO file. If you do a quick Google search, you can easily find a reputable source to download an ISO from. Wherever you get your ISO from, just be sure to grab the serial key because we're going to need it later on. Now that we have an ISO, we just need to load it into our machine and we can start the install. You're going to hit enter to begin the setup, then F8 to agree to the terms, then enter to install, and enter once more to continue. Now here is where you're going to enter the serial key you got when you downloaded the ISO file. Then from here, you can just follow along with the configurations that I chose. Now that we have successfully set up our operating system, what could we use this for aside from pure bragging rights that we have Windows on our iPad? Well, UTM SE is an emulator and emulators are essentially software that mimics hardware. Computers only come with the latest operating system at the time that the manufacturer made your computer. So this is gonna allow younger generations to experience operating systems of old. Use cases for this would be to literally run any supported operating system on your tablet or phone. 
Now I thought maybe for a moment, a student that's studying a tech related field could use this as a tool when they're going about their classes. I know when I studied computer science, I was constantly shifting back and forth between virtual boxes of different operating systems. So I thought maybe that this could work, but sadly using a virtual machine is still a better option. You see, virtual machines are like emulators as they create an interface of an operating system for you to use. The difference between the two is that a virtual machine will use your computer's hardware directly. Emulators, on the other hand, simulate the hardware using software. So the implementation has to be reverse engineered. So essentially, emulators are the programmer's best guess to the solution, to run whatever software you want as performant as possible. So comment down below and tell me, what would you use this emulator for? Well, there you have it. Here was my first look and installation of UTM-SE on the iPad Pro. If you enjoyed this video and wanna see more tech-related content, give it a like and also consider subscribing down below and I will catch you all next time. Bye.